Welcome to this Liquidware FlexApp feature focus video on automated packaging. FlexApp offers application layering that's geared for the enterprise. Just a quick overview of FlexApp before we talk about the automated packaging today. FlexApp offers dynamic application delivery for all your Windows desktops, not just Citrix, not just VMware, but all your desktops, including Amazon Workspaces and AppStream 2.0. Nutanix, Frame, and any way you deliver Windows, including well-managed physical PCs and laptops. FlexApp really separates out application delivery from the operating system, allowing you to manage the two separately. You can quickly update applications with FlexApp without modifying the underlying base image. It supports virtually all application types. It gives you the most flexible layer options, including boot time, login time, click to layer, and even attaching FlexApp One applications that are compatible with Microsoft Endpoint Manager and can even go offline. It supports remote work from anywhere strategies, giving users the applications they need anytime and anywhere. It supports multiple clouds. Host your applications in any of the three major clouds you see here, or with FlexApp One, even use user-level file share services. And it's won many industry awards, including the Independent Authority on Best Technology, What Matrix. They picked it number one. That is even in the face of all levels of competition. To transform your applications into FlexApp applications, we have an intuitive FlexApp packaging console. This software would usually run on a virtual capture machine running Windows that very much mimics the majority of your desktops. The FlexApp packaging console seen here, you simply click create and then this foreground window pops up and you fill out the fields. In this case, I'm about to package Camtasia. I'd simply point to the installer location that I downloaded previously, select a VHDX or VMDK, where I want to save that, the size I'd like that virtual hard disk to be, and it can grow dynamically, and other options. And then the package will seamlessly install. You'll click on the prompts from the manufacturer, and the package will be captured as a FlexApp package. If your organization has dozens of applications or hundreds of applications, we've automated this entire process with new FlexApp automation that is now available. Okay, so you've seen our packaging console and how seamless that is, and that's what is traditionally used. But now we have packaging automation. It's now available on our website. This is ideal for customers with dozens to hundreds of applications, so you can automate the process of packaging applications. Imagine being able to set this process to occur the night before you leave work and coming back in the next morning and dozens or hundreds of applications have been packaged. That's what this accomplishes. This is ideal for integration with your DevOps cycle. So it streamlines the release, the deploy, the update and operations phases of your DevOps cycles. This enables bulk packaging of any type of format of application, EXEs, MSIs, MSIX, et cetera, any format we can automate packaging of. It leverages multiple packaging consoles and it works independently to jointly accomplish packaging up dozens of applications or hundreds of applications. It works with vendors publish silent installation switches. So if you're used to using that with SCCM or Endpoint Manager, it's the same type of process. You can grab those silent install switches and it will keep that automation running. The package output is turnkey and is ready to test and then distribute with a Liquidware Unified Management Console that you're used to with FlexApp and Profile Unity. Now I've got Jack Smith with me, one of our very talented engineers. Jack, would you like to talk about this architecture before your demonstration? Absolutely. So what you're looking at here on the slide is a couple things. One, obviously you, the administrator. Two, a control plane, or as we call the primary system. Three the capture machines or agents and then for the file share these are all the things that are needed along with the profile unity uh, unified council to bring things together the things that you need to set up for the automation process is going to be the control plane which can be installed on the profile unity server if you want or a separate entity and then capture systems now these are a little bit different than the traditional capture system that we have today with the flex out capture consoles these are just agents that get installed on those workstations now the agents communicate back up to the control plane and all you do is you set up an instruction set 
to say control plane connects to capture agents, capture agents connect to file share, also have access to the installer share path locations, as well as the profile unity server itself. To then get all of these parts together, and I'll go ahead and show that to you. First things first is the instruction sets. And you can see there's a lot of different options here within the instruction set. Mine's very basic. It is a name, size of my application, my installer, in this case, NMSI exec, where my installers are, along with some quiet switches. We also can tap into fun things like uh, Chocolatey. So there's another example here of 7Z command line, Chocolatey install and go. Now that those are done, I can run the command against my system. And of course, I've got a key here that is also set up as part of the automation that has encrypted key values of here's where my primary server is, here's where the path to my installers are, here's the path to my profile Unity, and here's the path to my install software. So I have a bunch of encrypted value keys that I can utilize over and over again to get access to things without exposing any credentials live. Now, when I'm ready to install these applications automatically, I hit enter. This gets sent into a queue. In this case, I have six jobs that are pending in my queue. These are gonna go out to my profile Unity or my Flex app automation engines or nodes. And then it's just gonna roll through until they're all done. So if I go and look at my inventory, I don't have those applications in there just yet. And as they package up through, in this case, I have three nodes, it's going to continue to um, package process and complete. This also has an automatic rollback function for Windows 10 operating systems, or can also be integrated into things like vCenter to allow for rollback of those said snapshots. Now we can sit here and wait and watch these. So far in my testing, this has only taken about six minutes or so to get all these applications to run. And this is running off of an ESX snapshot rollback. Uh, the Windows 10 snapshot rollbacks can take a little bit longer, but again, you're not sitting in front of the, the computer watching it. Okay, looks like all the jobs have completed. Now it's gonna wait for the final response from the last node. And at the end here, it's going to report how long it took and if any jobs have failed at all. So you can see some jobs that may have failed, canceled, or running. There's zero running. And if we look here, all six of these applications that have been sequenced took all of four minutes and 40 seconds to process. Now, that's going to vary by the length of the installations, the rollback speeds, things like that. So don't calculate on one minute per app. That just happens to be the applications that I'm installing. Larger app installs, longer app installations obviously will take longer. But that is all of automation. So now if I go into my inventory, they're all right there. That's great. Jack, thanks. How do you apply one of these to the desktop? Then you just go back over it and, and go back in and pick a context or filter? Yeah, absolutely. It's the traditional method of getting those applications. Add a rule set in, look for those applications that you want, drag and drop, put a rule around it, and go like you normally do. That's great. So that's a quick overview of Flex App Automation. We're happy to have it to market. And we'd be excited if you give it a try. If you need more information, you can contact us at any time at sales at liquidware.com.